Yesterday we had glorious, glorious sunshine and just a gentle breeze. And today uh, it started raining at about half past five this morning. Uh, luckily it had stopped by uh, about half nine, ten. Uh, but, <laughs> but true to uh, British weather being what it is, um, I'm going to go and show you what the world is um, offering us today. So it's, um, it's a little windy. <laughs> And yesterday I planted tomatoes out in the garden and I expect by the end of today they're going to be pretty much torn to shreds. Hey ho! So as you can tell it's, it's still really warm today. I've just got a strappy t-shirt on and I'm plenty warm enough. Um, but it is jolly breezy. <laughs> I'm doing a few things indoors today and it's a starting day. And the first thing I'm getting started is uh, I'm putting some more eggs into the incubator. So we've got a selection of um, Jersey Giant eggs who were kindly sent to me by a gentleman called Andrew. And Andrew and I are doing an egg swap. So he sent me um, a dozen of his Jersey Giant eggs and I'm sending him a dozen of mine. Uh, and the idea is that we will cr increase the gene mix in our flock and, um, and actually all it will have cost us is the, uh, the price of the postage. And the large white eggs in the middle, well, those are our duck eggs. Uh, so these are eggs from uh, all nine of the girls and um, hopefully some of them will be fertile and then we can and we can increase our Aylesbury duck flock. And the other thing I'm doing today is starting off a new batch of wine. In my demijohn I've got two and a half pounds of granulated sugar uh, but this is unrefined because I don't like using uh, refined sugar and in this bowl back here I've got my uh, rose hip uh, liquid, which I made by crushing loads of rose hips and um, bringing them to the boil and boiling rapidly for 10 minutes and then leaving it to cool down and then straining off all the rose hips and just be left with the liquid. And at this stage, I'm not worried about putting it through a muslin cloth. Uh, all the bits in it will come out when I filter it at a later moment. Um, and at the moment, what they'll do is they'll add flavour. I don't have a funnel. Um, so what I'm actually using is the top of a bottle. And I've just cut the top off the bottle and it, it fits into, into the top of the demijohn perfectly and makes a perfect funnel. And I guess sooner or later, I will get around to buying a funnel for the kitchen. Um, but I haven't as yet, and this little bottle top works beautifully, and I can sterilise it easily. And um, so that's what I use. And basically, I'm just going to fill this jar up. Now, this this liquid is it's warm. It's warmer than body temperature. Uh, but it's nowhere near boiling. I let it cool um, and I added some cold water. I let it cool down a bit and then I added some cold water to it as well to bring the temperature down. Um, because what we don't want is it to be too hot um, or it will kill off the yeast. Now, the other thing I've done is in a bowl, I've put um, one of these little beakers of water uh, and a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of um, brewer's wine making yeast and they've been sitting there for about about three quarters of an hour now and it's it's made a lovely yuck. look at that uh, so it's <laughs> it's definitely alive and it's doing its own thing um, and I'm going to add that now So there's all the water that had the yeast, it was dried yeast going into it. Ooh. Mucky, mucky, there we go, in you go, thank you. There's no glamorous about this. Obviously my hands are, I washed my hands quite thoroughly before I started this because what you don't want is um, unwanted bacteria 
going into your mixture. You can't really see it at the moment, but behind me over there is one that I started earlier. So I'm just waiting now for this yeast to, to go into the Demijohn. There we go. Now, I haven't made I haven't made rose hip uh, wine before. I have made rose hip syrup. Um, so I know how to extract the flavour from the rose hips. Um, but the wine is the first time for me. Here we go. And the last little bit. Now you, you don't want it to go above, uh, much above this really, be, here, because it's got to have room for it to ferment up um, and if you're not careful, I'm hoping you can see this, it can get over enthusiastic. And go all the way up the neck um, and with this one it actually went all the way up through the um, through the mechanism at the top and bubbled all out over the side which isn't really what you want so I've cleaned that all off cleaned it out rinsed it with sterilized wa sterilized water and popped that back on but as you can see this is happening really vigorously and I only did this about an hour ago <laughs> if that um, so it is a really vigorous reaction If you can you want to make sure everything you use is sterilized now I quite like to just give it a little stir to start dissolving some of that sugar into the liquid not a hugely glamorous process but uh, it works so that's that stirred in and then the other thing I use is um, is pectolase which helps clear the liquid so the it helps to I think what it does is bind all the the solid particles together and then they sink to the bottom um, but it's one it's one level teaspoon of pectolase per gallon of liquid and that's a one gallon demijohn and the next thing to do is to put the stopper on so in it goes push down nice and firmly and it really shouldn't take very long before you see the bubbles starting to come up so it's, it has to fill this area this area with uh, carbon dioxide first and then it will come up and work its way through and in here um, you can either use water um, or you can use an alcohol like vodka um, and I think I've got well I know I've got water in this one now and I think I've got vodka in this um, but either way it's an airlock and you're stopping any bacteria getting in through the top because it's not going to work its way down through the liquid um, but it allows the the build up of pressure of gases in your demijohn to come out so you don't end up with an exploding demijohn now the other thing I've done this morning is to bottle up the last load of wine that I made. Uh, we recycle everything as you know so uh, recycling the wine bottles are from purchased wine but uh, here it is. This is my Mirabelle Plum and Red Grape wine and I'm really pleased with it. It looks beautiful. 
it's um it's cleared nicely we'll leave this to sit now and um, some more sediment should should uh, settle at the bottom and then we should have a beautiful beautiful wine it tastes absolutely fabulous um, and I don't drink alcohol uh, not for any reason other than it gives me an awful headache um, but I'm going to make the exception and I'm going to put up with the headache um, even if it lasts for two or three days because I'm going to drink some of this because it is lovely.